I enlisted in the Marine Corps on November 20th, 1999. I think most of us that joined did so because we love our country and we wanted to be part of something that is bigger than ourselves. When you go to war, you realize that that thing is a brotherhood that's stronger than the blood it's forged in. My name's Ryan Off The Grid, and I've dedicated my life to serving my brothers and sisters in arms in our lives post-service. Like many combat veterans, veterans in general, I had trouble adjusting to life after the Marine Corps and after the war. I struggled to find peace, to find purpose, and was battling PTSD and substance abuse. In 2011, I was lucky enough to be invited to attend a veterans duck hunt in my home state of Wisconsin. That event would not only change my life, it would save it. The hunt itself is not the healing aspect. It's just the event in which veterans who are struggling with the same issues can come together and enjoy the tranquility of the outdoors. That event would also have such an impact on me, it propelled me into a career path within outdoor media. I photoed, filmed, and appeared on camera for a network hunting television show for the next few years. I also built a large social media following, allowing me to build a network to create new opportunities. A couple of years ago, I decided to use my platform to come full circle and take veterans outdoors. Through High Point Adventures, we are able to take vets all over the country on adventures that allow them to use the same coping mechanism that I was given through the outdoors. This grant for our charity would help us continue to provide travel, food, lodging, and guided expeditions for many veterans. Your consideration is much appreciated. Please listen to some of the following testimonials of veterans that have attended events that I have hosted in the past. Um, I struggled with I struggled with getting back to civilian life again. That getting back to the sense of normalcy because combat had become my new normal. So I ended up holding myself in little hotel rooms, isolating from everybody, didn't want to see anybody, anger issues, substance abuse issues, everything that's, you know, it's almost, there's, you could almost write the book on it with several veterans, or a lot of veterans go through post-combat. I found getting into the outdoors, hunting and fishing was a life savior. And it was a life-saving thing that I will I, that I embraced, but then we took it to a new level by getting to hunt with fellow veterans, which brings out more than you will ever know because you get with guys that have shared experiences. I usually hunt solo back at home, and to come out here and to meet up with these guys, it was unbelievable. Um, I can't believe how much I've missed this. Uh, the camaraderie, um, just we picked up as if we'd never, you know, it's been just a minute since we've seen each other. Um, meet new people that, they just everybody clicks, everybody meshes. It's just something that you can't explain to everybody. And if you do try to explain it, not everybody's going to understand it. And for me, I needed this. Spending a few days with people that can relate uh, to stories and service stories, memories. I showed up on this hunt. There were two people that I didn't know. We hit it off right off the bat. Uh, you know, veterans understand veterans. Veterans understand the pain. They understand the happiness. They understand the stories. There's just a certain bond 
that's there that that is kind of hard to get with strangers that haven't been in the service that don't understand what the service is about or what the experiences are about. I know for a fact getting out with veterans again is saving lives with the suicide epidemic that we're dealing with right now in the United States with the veteran community is, it's, it's national tragedy. And if more guys could embrace the hunting life and getting out with other fellow veterans, I know we can put a dent in this, in this situation. And I, I just, if, I, if any veteran ever sees this or listens to it, I'm telling you, reach out. There's a better way out there.